The film opens with showing a boy and a girl climbing a gate to get into a closed hospital. They both go into the mortuary ward. She shows him a freezer that the dead bodies are kept in. She then asks the boy if he wants to kiss her and challenges him if he wants to kiss her then he has to lie in one of those for a while. When he hesitates she says that he can touch her. If he accepts the challenge he then accepts and tells only for 10 seconds. He then gets into the freezer and she closes the door. He counts to 10 and he asks her to open the door but she left him in the freezer, locking the door and gone. In the next scene, we see a woman named Eva who is getting ready to go to college. She is a veterinary student. She gets in while the professor is taking the class. The professor is taking a class on dissecting the rat instead of dissecting it. Eva plays with it after the class is done. The professor calls Eva and gives her a rat and says this is her rat and it is the only one survived the experiment. She tells him that it is difficult for her to do it. He asks how sure she is on becoming a veterinary doctor to which she tells she is not sure. The professor then tells her to put the rat in the storeroom. After saying he is giving her a F in this test, she goes to the storeroom and gives the box to a man named Dr. Monty. Later Eva's friend Cynthia approaches her while she is reading something and asks what she is doing to which Eva tells she is reading a script to get ready for audition tomorrow. Cynthia reminds her there is an exam tomorrow to which Eva says this is more important to her than dissecting a cat. Cynthia asks her if she doesn't like cutting animals why don't she drop which she already did times. Eva shows Cynthia her rap and names it Dino after her ex. Eva then tells she has to go to look for an apartment. She goes to the bathroom and takes an insulin shot before going. She then goes and meets a guy named Yap and introduces herself and tells that she is here to view the apartment. She looks at the things and asks if they are his to which he tells those are the previous tenants and she left without even telling him and never heard from again. Eva then asks how much is rent and he says $600. She then moves into her new flat the next day while shifting the luggage she meets with her downstairs neighbor Alex. Cynthia sees him and asks Eva who he is and she tell he is her downstairs neighbor while they unpacking. The guy is watching Eva from the door next day. She goes to the audition and she do some scenes but she is terrible at acting. The director tells her to go. Eva says she can do it again to which the director says this is just the first round and they will call her again. She gets to home disappointed and throws the script in the trash later that evening she gets ready and goes to a party where Cynthia sees Alex and tries to flirt with him. Alex comes to them and offers them a drink. Then they make a toast to Eva's new home and Cynthia takes him to a dance later. They all get to home and Alex offers them another drink to which Cynthia accepts. But CVA says she is tired. Cynthia convinces her to get a drink. They get into Alex's house and he pours them some wine. Then they see a picture of him and asks if he is a surgeon to which he says that he is an intern and he asks about them. Cynthia tells they are veterinary students and Eva wants to quit. They talk for a while. Then Eva tells them she is going. She gets into her flat and she sleeps on the couch while watching TV. Later when she wakes up she is in an empty room lying on the bed and her hands got cuffed to a hook on the floor. And she sees a speaker in the corner and a camera to the ceiling. Then and some music starts to play and she gets unconscious seeing the door is being opened. She wakes up again and finds food on the table besides her. She then sees a man standing in front of her and he is wearing a mask and black suit. She gets scared on seeing him. She asks him who he is but he doesn't answer and he leaves the place later. Alex gets to yap and he is paying rent. Alex hears something and asks what it is. Yap says that is his girlfriend and she is sick. Alex tells him that he can take a look at her. Yop refuses and tells he will give Alex a call if he needs a doctor. Next scene Eva looks at the camera and asks she wants to use the bathroom. Then the lights gets turned on and the ma man comes in. He shows her the taser to warn her he uncuff her and shows her the bathroom after she is done she peeks through the gap and couldn't see him and decides to run. But when she opens the door he is standing in front of the door he puts the cuffs back again. She asks him why she is here. He slaps her and goes after a while Eva sees a name Lisa scraped on the side of the bed. Then he gets back into the room. He takes a blood sample from her. She then asks who Lisa is and says she saw a name on the bed. She then asks him what this is all this for. He then uncover and hands over some clothes to her. 
She gets into the bathroom and changes up after she gets changed he cuffs her back and gets out of there. After he is gone she breaks the chair and takes on a leg and she starts to knock onto the pipes on the ceiling back at his room. Yap hears the knocking sound through the pipes and Alex also hear the knocking sound from the kitchen. Later the masked man gets in and Eva beats him with a rod. She broke from the chair she pins him down and takes off the mask and it is none other than Alex. He tases her with the taser and rushes out of the room. He gets to the door and opens it and sees Yuck. He asks Alex what is that knocking sound? Alex says there is little clog. Yuck tells he will come tomorrow to which Jack says he will take care of it later. Eva curses Alex and breaks his mask. Alex releases some gas through the vents. She feels dizzy and falls asleep. Next morning Alex brings her some breakfast. She asks if Alex puts something in the wine. The other day Alex agrees. Eva notices Alex with the oxygen mask, and Alex says that he can't stand tight places. Eva asks what happened to him and says he can always go back and tells that she will help him to become normal again. Alex gets irritated while he is leaving. Eva asks him to get her medicine. He comes out of the cellar. Alex gets her keys from her bag and goes into her flat. He searches the place all over and finds her medicine while he is inside. Yap is watching him through the door later. Alex gets to Eva and gives her the insulin shot. He also brings her rat for company. He then hears the doorbell and goes to check and sees Yap. Yap comes in by saying that he is going to take a look at the pipes. Eva notices this and she starts to knock on the pipe. Yap hears and sends Alex to bring a water hose. He gets to the wall and starts to look for a way into the cellar. Then Alex comes and Yap asks where the cellar door is. Alex tells he has no use of it so he bricked it up. Eep reminds him that is against the rules. Alex apologizes him. He hears the sound and a Alex about it. He says it is coming from the cellar and asks what is in the cellar. Eep then notices the way into the cellar. Alex comes from behind and strangles him with the pipe and kills Yap. Then he walks back into the cellar with Yap's body and tells her that she doesn't have to be worried about the rat. Now he puts the rat in the bag and beats it to the wall and kills it after Alex has gone. Eva hears Yap's phone is ringing and tries to get it. She then gets it with her leg. By the time she answers the line went off she calls the cops but cuts the calls. When Alex comes in he gives her the food and when he is about to leave the phone rings again Eva tries to get the phone but Alex pins her down and picks up the calls. He tells it is not an emergency but just his girlfriend playing pranks and breaks the phone. Eva strikes him with the lamp and goes out after closing the door while she is trying to go out. She sees a woman in a room and she tries to use the vent to go out, but Alex catches her and knocks her out. He ties her up and puts her in the cellar. Then a guy named Danny comes to Alex. He is a cop. He asks about Yup when Alex says he don't. No he tells that they are working on a missing girl's case named Eva. He gets into the house to talk. After Alex says he knows her, Danny asks him some questions and he notices something on the sofa. When Alex goes to get some water and leaves later he unties Eva and cuffs her up. She asks who the woman is. Alex says that is his girlfriend and says she got paralyzed after she met with an accident. When Eva asks why she is in a wheelchair Alex then takes out a syringe and injects her with some anesthesia. Then we see he is preparing everything for a surgery and the women and Eva are lying on the bed side by side. Later Danny digs up into Alex's details more later he goes to Alex's psychiatrist's Minnow Williams and questions him about Alex's past. He tells he can't give all the details cause of doctor patient privilege and tells him only few things. He tells Danny that Alex suffered from a serious form of SREs and he tried to commit suicide sometimes and tells he was stuck in a morgue freezer for three days and had trauma because of this. Turns out he is the boy from the beginning beginning of the movie. Next scene Eva wakes up and notices some stitches on her stomach. Then Alex talks from the speaker and says that he removed one of her kidney cause his wife needs one cause she lost hers when she had the accident and says that he will release her in exactly four days. Eva asks him why exactly four days she takes the medicine and then notices a woman's body got out of the wall. Later Danny digs up more into Alex's matter and finds out the name of the girl who locked him as Lisa. Then he searches for her details and finds out that she has been missing. He then gets to Alex flat and calls and says that he wants to meet him and asks him to come to the station. Alex then goes to the station. Danny sees this and gets into Alex's house through a vent. Alex calls Danny to let him know that he is here. But Danny says he will be there in a few minutes. Danny then sees the women and she is Lisa. 
then he finds that way to the seller and talks with Eva and he gets back out cause he couldn't find find the signal to contact for support. Then Alex gets back to house and attacks him and he pushes down an iPad through his throat and kills him. Alex then takes the body to the seller. Eva then pulls him near and tries to seduce him. While doing that she tries to get the gun but he gets alert. Then he goes to check on Lisa and he is preparing for another surgery. He gets to the cellar and tases Eva but she doesn't react. He takes of the blanket and it is not Eva she then attacks from behind and points the taser to his balls and asks the passcode after he said she tases him she goes out and tries to unlock but it didn't work. She gets to Lisa and asks for her help and asks for the password and says to blink the number Lisa tells three digits and Alex comes there and says she can't blink the fourth digit cause it is zero. And he tells her that Lisa put him in a freezer for three days when they are kids and that is why he injected her with a neurotoxin that makes 90% of her body paralyzed and she can't do anything but blink. But as a side effect she is losing kidneys. That is why he took EVAs and he walks her back to the cellar. Eva hits on his hand with door and gets her hand on the gun, she shoots him once and she locks him in the cellar and goes out. Then she turns the vents on. Alex gets so scared and he shoots himself to death and she leaves the apartment and the film ends with showing Eva giving another audition and this time she nailed it.